I was a big fan of this nice pretty in-spool desiccant boxes with hygrometer until I decided to put a hygrometer on the side of the spool, which is here. And that's when I realized I have been scammed because here I have pretty 21% and here I see also pretty 34%, which does make a difference if we are talking nylon or fiber filled filaments. The thing is that when you put a hygrometer in the middle of a spool and wrap it in a vacuum packaging, you end up with a nice little uh, isolated environment in the middle of the spool. Of course, your hygrometer that sits half but deep in a desiccant displays very pleasant numbers that have little to no relation to actual moisture level in your filament. Although kudos to all the lazy filament makers that put their desiccant packages in the middle of the spool, not on the side where they should belong. Yemhe, I'm talking about you. There are some ways you can deal with this. You can drill some holes here uh, in the spool to allow for some air circulation or use a special desiccant container like this one here, for example, that separates the hygrometer from the forbidden caviar or you can print something that allows air to pass from the middle of the spool to the side of the spool like a star-shaped structure, but this already sounds too complicated. I don't like complicated, so I decided to go another way. And by other way I mean this, this desk and container I've made that's meant to be put on the side of the spool. It has a place for a standard round hygrometer with all the three cut orientations. Well, there are different hygrometers, you know. And moreover, if you put it in, you even have that slit so you can change the battery without even pulling the hygrometer out. The box is made to fit the curvature of a standard 200 mm spool and has no sharp edges here when it touches your vacuum bag. It opens on the side and closes with a satisfying click, if you get the tolerances right, of course. So throw in some desiccant, around 75 grams or so, slap in the hygrometer, push it on the side of the spool and vacuum pack the spool as you usually do. Done. All designs are available on my printables and Maker World. Links are in the description.